What's going on, Furio Ohana? Welcome back to our Japan travel series. And in today's episode, we're taking you guys along with us to a very famous ramen alley here in Sapporo. Ramen Yokocho, an alleyway full of specialty ramen shops lined with people, bright lights, and the smell of noodles in the air. Sapporo is one of Japan's top ramen cities and the birthplace of miso ramen. And when in Sapporo, you eat miso ramen. Rich in umami with deep flavor and crinkly noodles, of course we had to try it. Sapporo also has different types of ramen noodles. And we can't wait to show you everything we eat. In Sapporo Susukino area, there are multiple ramen yokochos, and today we ventured to two of them. The first one being Sapporo Shin Ramen Yokocho, which roughly translates to Sapporo's new ramen yokocho. Looks like mines are forming already, guys. Which one should we get into? So the first spot that we're at, we're actually waiting in line. It is a Michelin Guide Hokkaido 2017 Special Edition Ramen Spot known for their pork miso ramen. And they also use 100% Hokkaido wheat for their noodles. So we're super excited and we're waiting in a really long line. <laughs> First stop at Fujiya Ramen was a success. That was awesome. Didn't want to disrespect the patrons. There was a long line, so we just wanted to eat and get out, but oh my goodness, noodles al dente. I had the thick curly Hokkaido noodle. I ordered their signature spicy miso ramen, and it looked like they had a evolved ground pork in there as well. The char siu, I didn't really care too much for. It didn't have much flavor. The broth was where it's at. Also loved the thick bamboo shoots as well. So if you guys don't know, miso is a fermented bean paste that kind of gives off a pungent umami or savory flavor. And because it is a miso pork broth, it adds an extra depth of flavor to that pork, thick pork broth that a lot of you are more used to. I really enjoyed mine. What did you think? It was very, very creamy. It almost tasted like there was milk in there where there isn't any. It was filled with lots of collagen and it was the spicy ramen. You can also get it non-spicy if you wanted to. The spicy one was a little bit too spicy for me, but definitely next time if I got the regular miso ramen, you could definitely tell like it was very, very savory and creamy and rich. I got the black shoyu ramen. It was a very strong umami soy sauce flavor. When you think of shoyu ramen, you kind of think, oh, that's kind of boring, that's kind of plain. But this one had a very, very strong soy sauce flavor, full of umami. It wasn't super, super salty, which I was surprised at. And the noodles were al dente and super great. I love the 100% Hokkaido wheat noodles was amazing. It had a nice bite and texture to it. Right, now we're on to the next stop. So Sapporo has many different yokocho alleys for ramen and we are going to the original yokocho ramen. It's going to be the second one of the night. Ganso Sapporo Ramen Yokocho, which means the original Sapporo Ramen Yokocho. And this ramen alley, guys, is known for over 17 different ramen shops, all featuring Sapporo's signature specialty ramen. And also guys, a lot of places are actually closed today because it's a Japanese holiday week that we're here in Japan called Golden Week. So 
So Hokkaido is very known for their corn butter ramen. So we wanted to try the very traditional style butter corn ramen and Teshikaka had it. So that's where we decided to try today. And it was very delicious. We got to try the true flavor of miso corn butter ramen. So we just finished eating at Teshikaga Ramen. They're known for their char broiled chashu, which is what we got. Felix got that on top of their specialty shoyu ramen, and I got their miso buttered corn ramen. It was so delicious. And the miso flavor was very prominent and strong. It was a little bit different from the first ramen place that we went to today. It was more of like a not so creamy miso ramen. It was very like a miso soup type of ramen. There was a lot of toppings. There was cabbage, bean, bean sprouts. sprouts. There, was there was kombu a, in there. There was kombu. There was a boiled egg on top as well. The noodles weren't really that special. It was very traditional style though. The noodles in this one is really straightforward. Um, I will say that miso ramen you had, the corn made it a little sweeter. I guess um, they like it like that here in Sapporo. But I got their simple shoyu ramen. It was okay. I thought the start of the show was the charcoal grilled char siu that they grilled right in front of you. That was amazing. The broth was okay. It just tastes like dark soy broth. And the noodles were just okay as well. So definitely check them out if you want traditional miso corn butter ramen or charcoal broiled char siu. And this next place, we're going on a whim. There's a long line. As I mentioned before, if there's a long line, must be good, right? So it wraps right around the corner. That's how busy it is. And I'm trying something very unique. I wouldn't say this is even traditional here in Hokkaido, but it is their number one seller, so. It is a, a twist on the traditional ramen here in Sapporo. Furiohana, so that was an awesome solo mission. Amanda had to tap out early, save room for dessert, but you know your boy had to check out the specialty ramen here. Very, very interesting. The number one seller at this hot spot ramen shop at the Haruka ramen shop here that you saw the crazy long line was their Parmesan ramen. How crazy was that? It was hustling and bustling. I couldn't talk to you guys in there, but it literally tastes like pasta with parmesan cheese and pesto but instead of pasta noodles it was ramen noodles it was my mind was so confused like it tastes good but i'm so confused because i'm like it doesn't taste like ramen it doesn't really taste like pasta the pork or the ham in there the char siu i added on uh nothing to write home about i actually did find a little tiny piece of bone so that was a little off-putting because i bit into it and i was like oh shoot but the broth, I say, is worth a try if you like cheese, pesto, basil kind of flavors. And the base is a miso broth, so it was on the lighter side. Probably wouldn't order it again personally, but it's very interesting. back here in Tanuki Koji shopping street but do not worry we are getting a dessert well we're trying to get a dessert 
it is a bit late it's already nine o'clock a lot of the places around here are closing so we'll see you guys at the dessert segment We're walking through Susukino, which is a very popular nightlife area, very close to the ramen yokocho that we were at earlier. But we're on the hunt for dessert. So let's go find the dessert spot. This is the only spot that's open and it's full with clubs around here, so we'll see. Are we here? Is this it? I see an ice cream cone. We're here. So we are at a place called Clean. It looks like it's an acronym, but I'm not sure what it's short for. They serve soft cream parfaits. And they also have other things on the menu, but this is what caught my eye. This is their spring special sakura version. Hokkaido is known for their soft cream or soft serve ice cream because the milk in Hokkaido is so fresh and so rich. They're known for their milk as well. There's a cake on the bottom, some matcha powder, and soft serve sakura maybe apple and mochi balls mm -hmm. oh, this spoon is so small <laughs> cheers mm. oh my gosh the ice cream does not taste like regular ice cream it's more creamy and cheesy Mm. It's literally like 40 degrees, but I don't care. Ice cream. I'm gonna try this sucker duck thing. Not really sure what this is, but it's really, really cute. Mm. Sakura flavor uncle or bean paste. Mm. What did Felix get? His looks really good as well. So I got probably the most American thing on this menu, but it's a chocolate sundae. Basically, it's the Hokkaido cream with hot fudge, chocolate syrup, looks like bananas, crushed peanuts. It's basically a sundae. I don't know. I was just craving a sundae. Oh, it's like an elevated sundae with that Hokkaido cream milk. It kind of has a nice tang to it, like, almost like cream cheese. <laughs> And I apologize if it's a little loud, the area we're in right now. Suzukino, the area we're in right now. Just think of it like a, a Las Vegas, like a Vegas strip kind of area. Everyone's having a good time. It is Golden Week. We're all just out here having a good time together. I love the crushed nuts on here too. If you are in Hokkaido, I highly, highly recommend getting soft cream anywhere. You will not be disappointed. But we're gonna be enjoying our parfaits. Oh, look at that. It's a dango as well, covered in matcha. Cheers. Mm. And guys, guess what? Today marks me and Felix's 10 year anniversary in one of our most favorite cities in the world, Sapporo. So, this is a cheers to our 10 years. Cheers. <laughs> Right, Furio Hana, that about wraps up today's video of Sapporo Ramen Alley Tour. We hope you guys really enjoyed this one. We sure did. We are stuffed. And if you guys ever come to Sapporo, make sure you get some ramen. Make sure you get some soft cream. Do not miss out on these spots or just any ramen and soft cream in general. We hope you guys really like this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow along on all of our foodie adventures. And you guys don't want to miss the next video because we will be filming every day here in Sapporo and in Japan. So you don't want to miss it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, foodie on. Until the next one, eat your Hokkaido creameries, eat your miso ramen. Peace out. Bye, guys. Instagram. This is reality. This is the reality. All right, so we are literally gonna walk and try to enjoy this because our shuttle's gonna leave us. First stop on our ramen list was a success. That was amazing. We didn't want to. What? You didn't say where we're at. No, we said it earlier, right? Oh, I did. Oh. 
down there. You have, I told you to say, oh, you know, and our first stop is going to be... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Huh? So help... So oh, stop. Stop. Oh, what is it called? Teshikaga? Teshikaga. So just now, so, uh, what was the time? Okay. <laughs> uh, it is lively tonight. We're getting a little distracted from all these lights and craziness. First stop at Fuji Ramen was a miso board. All right, Fuji Ohana, we are here. Oh, back up, back up. Right there. Very close to the Waikiki, and we will see you guys tomorrow because we are filming again, but it'll be going up the next. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we'll never say that. We'll see you guys on the next one.